Devin Mitchell here, supercrossonline.com with our third place finisher here in Seattle, Andrew Shore. Andrew, oh my God, what a gnarly moto for you. You were leading it almost the whole way till the very end. Kevin got around you. You fought for second real hard. What was going through your mind that whole time? I was just trying to hold it together. I was having the ride of a lifetime right there for a little bit. Led a lot of laps, which felt great. And I uh, just put, put my best in for Honda, trying to help Kevin out and uh, get him this championship. So you seem like you can kind of picking up some momentum in your uh, Supercross over, in your Supercross season now. Towards the end, though, of course, but you've been doing really, really w well. Have you changed anything in your program? No, it's just uh, starting to come together. I got a really good start tonight, and that was uh, the the big benefactor for me. Awesome. All right, Andrew Short, Seattle third place finisher. I'm here with our second place finisher, Chad Reed. Chad, that was a great moto for you. You actually fell on the first corner around there. You've been dealing with your shoulder injury. You came back this last two weeks and were com amazing and uh, got all the way up to second place. How did you do that? How, what were you thinking that whole time in that, during that moto? Just trying to get out there and, uh, and trying to get as most points as possible. And I couldn't believe it when I went down. You know, it was almost, that was, uh, it was pretty disheartening and just like, dang it, that sucks. And uh, just put my head down and tried picking guys off and uh, it was a really tough track to pass. I think the start was really important and uh, to get out there and get second, that's definitely a win. You know, that that even feels better than coming back from the hospital and, and uh, getting some points that weekend. It's, uh, it, was, it was important to get out there and, and just fight, fight for every lap, every corner and uh, every guy. So obviously Las Vegas is going to be like a no mistakes kind of place. You and Kevin both made mistakes tonight. Um, you know, could, did you did you see him when he got stuck over there? Could you see him on the other side of the track? What was going through your mind? No, I, I didn't even know he had a, I knew he had an issue. I didn't know what happened. Uh, I saw him winning and uh, and then I just thought, okay, you know, it's, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I knew, I didn't know how far back he dropped, but I saw the leaderboard one time he was in fifth and I saw that there was nothing but red in front and uh, I knew that, you know, those guys weren't going to make it difficult on him. And I just tried to put my head down, try to be careful with those guys, you know, and as it turned out, you know, a couple of them made it difficult, but uh, that, you know, that's what makes racing fun, and uh, and that's what makes this thing uh, nice and sweet. The last lap when you would, had to go around uh, Andrew Short, and he was kind of giving you some trouble. I know Andrew sometimes is known to be a dirty rider. What were you thinking that whole time? Were you like, oh God, is this guy going to clean me out? You know, I just try to put it up the inside and uh, try to protect my line as possible, you know, best as possible. And uh, he just he just squared me up and, and aimed straight for me. And actually, it was it was pretty gnarly that I that I didn't actually crash. He uh, ripped the handlebars right out of my hands. And uh, really thankful that I was uh, strong enough and uh, I guess just lucky more than anything, you know, just to, for the handlebars to land right back in my hands and and go for it that last lap. I knew that, uh, you know, I knew I could set him up and and just put myself in a good position to uh, to pass him and and make 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 sure he couldn't have a shot back at me. Right on. Well, we'll see you in Vegas, and hopefully it'll turn out good for you and you have some better luck. And I know that this last couple of weeks isn't, hasn't been the best of luck, but I'm sure you can turn that around, don't you think? Yeah, I'll take it. You know, I love to go to Vegas. It's going to be a difficult track. And, uh, you know, normally the lap times are up around the minute long, so uh, I think that'll be fun. You know, 20 laps out here tonight on a 51-second time. We, you know, we saw what they did, and, and uh, next week will be long. And, uh, you know, it'll come down to being strong, and, you know, I feel good about that. All right, Chad Reed, our second-place finisher here in Seattle. I'm here with our first place finisher, Kevin Windham. Kevin, that was a rough moto for you. You really had to work for it. Obviously, you had a good start and then got caught with a hay bale. Uh, what was going through your mind when you saw that thing? You're going down the straightaway and it's flapping behind you. You're like, what were you thinking? Well, it was it was crazy. From the opening lap, you know, I knew I was in good position. I heard the crowd going nuts. I'm like, man, these guys are really in the K-dub. And then I saw Chad down, so there was so much, you know, emotion going on. And thinking I was going to, man, tonight's the night. I'm going to make some points. And then... Uh, the banner thing and, and it just completely shut my bike down it bogged me down I, I i was i was thankful that i was able to get it out i knew that I, to crank it and to try to continue wasn't wasn't going to work because the thing just completely bogged me down so uh luckily it was able to come out and I mean, remount a charge man it was a great race and a, a great feeling listening to this crowd and, and how loud they were and uh it, it was awesome but once again man chad just chad rode through and uh, picked them off one by one and you know only uh i was only able to make three points so we go into vegas uh down the down a lot, but you know we're we're gonna keep our head up and just uh, try to fight through this thing. Well, obviously it's a crazy season so far. Anything can happen. But how do you how do you go on on the track and have a banner suck and then get off your bike so calmly, get it out and then restart your bike? Like, is that just experience? <laughs> yeah, I think it has to do with a little bit of, with experience. But I tell you, I've n never had that happen to me before. It was the first time. But you know, for a second there, I said, like, oh, oh boy, I mean the season's gone and it's it's over. And that that was a that was a tough feeling, but. 
I, I knew that I had to fight to try to get it out because I was not going to be able to race that race with that thing uh, just flapping in the wind. So uh, that's what we did, and it worked out for us, man. Uh, luckily, uh, you know, we had our, our uh, good luck, you know, and was able to get it out, but still wasn't able to make enough points. But, you know, it's all right. It was a great race, and, and that nights like tonight is kind of what racing's about, man. It was uh, it was a roller coaster ride for everybody, all the fans, and, I mean, that, that makes us happy whenever you hear them cheering like that. Yeah, they definitely do love you here in Seattle, and unfortunately it wasn't raining for you. I know we talked about that last week, and you're a good mud rider, but what did you think about the track? Well, it was good. You know, the dirt was a little tricky. There was a lot of rocks, but, you know, it's, I'm glad for the fans here in Seattle to uh, be able to come here and not, not have to sit in the rain. You know, it's kind of miserable when it's like that, but they're diehards up here, man. They, they love Supercross, and uh, they were out in full force, and uh, they were cheering loud. So, it's like I said, it's, it's great to put on a show, and... Uh, you know, I like races that are exciting like that. It was fun to be a part of it and uh, super fun that I ended up on top. All right, good luck next week in Vegas and congratulations right. on your win tonight. Thank Kevin Windham, our first place finisher.